so happy to see you again. Um, so in this video, uh, we are going to learn how to manipulate and access DOM with Angular 2 components. All right. Uh, so for this, we are going to use lifecycle method called uh, ng after view init. Uh, so I'm going to load that first. Uh, I'm going to extend uh, our post container uh, component. Uh, also to tell you, uh, post container component uh, is a parent component for the single post uh, component. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate uh, the DOM inside the post container component and uh, let's extend uh, our class. I'm going to load uh, after view in it and after view in it uh, allows us to implement a method called ng after view in it. Okay. So what is ng after view in it anyway? So this method is called uh, when the bindings of the children directives have been checked for the first time. Um, so what I mean by that again, uh, ng after view in it is called after the view is initially rendered. And yeah, that's why it's perfect uh, for doing the DOM manipulation. Okay, so I'm going to go inside the, the post HTML container. Okay. And basically, I need to change the color of this paragraph tag. But to uh, have a reference uh, to this paragraph, I need a reference uh, indicator. So I'm going to add an ID over here called uh, para1. That is going to be my reference ID. And uh, I'm going to go back to my uh, post container class. And over here, I'm going to load uh, a decorator called at uh, view children. So the decorator name is view child. You can also use view children, uh, but it's something different. So I'm going to use uh, view child decorator. View child decorator uh, requires the reference ID. And I'm going to load this as uh, P, maybe uh, P1. Okay, paragraph one. And uh, let's see how we can load this up. Uh, as a view child uh, reference, uh, uh, you get to access, uh, you have access uh, to native element. Okay, so what I mean by that is, if I say p this dot p1 dot native element, I have access to the native element now. Uh, let's just do the console log over here and to see what is it. I'm just going to say log and when I save this, you can see the changes over here. And it's compiling. I'll just hit reload. All right, so you can see uh, there is a reference to the DOM uh, element that is the paragraph tag. I ignore the last error that's coming from my Firefox browser. I don't know why. Okay, so we have access to native element. Uh, let's just change the color of paragraph tag. And I can access it something like this style dot color is going to be equals to red. And hopefully it should reload and the color should change to red. All right. Uh, there is one more thing. Uh, basically, uh, you should not access uh, the native element inside ng after view in it directly. The reason behind that is it's not safe uh, with platform browser. Uh, so it's not supported by web workers. Web workers will never uh, get to know when DOM updates. So the right way to do is uh, you have to use something called renderer. It's available to us uh, by Angular 2. So we are going to load that uh, into our constructor. I'm going to load it as private renderer and it's going to be renderer. Okay. And I'm going to load this up over here. So this dot renderer uh, So this dot renderer dot set element such style and you need to pass the native element. I'm just going to do that. Pass it here and just remove this guy and pass the property which you want to change. I want to change the color property and the value is going to be let's it's time it's going to be blue. All right, let's just check it out. It should reload. And the paragraph color is blue now. Uh, you can do the same uh, with renderer too. 
so renderer uh, so basically the renderer the version the first renderer is going to get deprecated uh, i'm not sure why uh, so renderer 2 and just set it over here to renderer 2 and with renderer 2 uh, the property name is different uh, it's something called set uh, attribute uh, so you can uh, use set style set style and i'm doing the same thing and i'm just going to change this to red design and let's check it out okay it's compiling i'm just going to reload all right it works uh ignore the last error again it's something from my firefox okay so that's how we have set uh, our renderer uh, so we are able to access uh, the DOM properties. Uh, we can do a few more stuff uh, with our component. Uh, let's just open the HTML file again. Uh, I'm going to add an input file, uh, not input file, just an input tag. So and let's just set this to placeholder. Focus on me. Okay. So what I want is uh, as soon as the browser loads, the cursor should go here by default right now. It's not going here by default. So let's just give a reference uh, ID over here. I'm going to call it as uh, input one. Okay. And uh, I'm going to access this inside my post container component class. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to remove this or maybe just keep it here. Mm, no, I'll just remove it. P1 and over here, just pass the input uh, one native element. And instead of uh, set style, uh, I'm going to use the uh, renderer one and renderer one has a method called uh, invoke mm, invoke element method, uh, which will uh, help us uh, to invoke the focus. So I'm going to invoke focus on this. And as soon as you reload this, Okay, something is wrong with my Firefox browser. And you can see as soon as I reload this, my focus is going inside the input uh, box. Okay, and uh, I hope that's it from this video. Uh, in the next video, uh, we are going to check uh, something awesome. So in the next video, we are going to create, uh, we are going to add components dynamically into uh, the another component. So instead of adding it over here manually, we are going to add a component dynamically. So stay tuned.